What's up, everybody? Your boy Pat back again with another edition of Unplugged. Today's topic of the day is the Razer Kyber Pros versus the Microsoft Xbox headset. This is a Heat Rocks production. Now, before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe, and hit the bell, as it helps out the channel. Okay, this is the showdown that I've been wanting to do for you guys. The other two videos that I did, pitted the Razors versus the Turtle Beach, I'll leave a link up here. And the other video I did was the Microsoft Xbox headset versus the Turtle Beach Style 700s as well, and I'll leave a link up here. But this is the showdown of the showdowns. These two headsets are, in my opinion, the best wireless headsets you can get for an Xbox One, an Xbox Series S, or an Xbox Series X, in my opinion. Now, what does that mean? That means these things are wireless, both of them. They have great sound, both of them. They have great build quality, both of them. They have great apps, both of them. They have great mics, both of them. They are also able to con connect wirelessly to the Xbox, wirelessly to your controller, and wirelessly and simultaneously to a Bluetooth speaker, phone, whatever you want. So if you want to game and listen to music, both of these do it. If you want to game and be able to take phone calls as they come in, these will both do it. You'll hear the phone ring in your headset, you say hello, it cuts off the Xbox sound, and it goes right to your phone call. It cuts off the game sound, it cuts off the chat sound, goes right to your phone call. You wind up hanging the phone up, bang, right back into the game, gaming with your boys. So, let's get the showdown going. So the Xbox, the stretch test. That's about as far as I feel stretching this comfortably without thinking I'm gonna crack it. When you stretch and twist, these things are pretty good. That's a pretty good stretch. That's a pretty good twist. And then when you get to the Razer Kyra Pros, you're getting a little bit more of a stretch, I think. Just a tad bit. And then when you, it's kind of hard to twist because these things slide so much. But I would say on the stretch test, I'll give it to the Kairos. On the twist test, I'll give it to the Xbox. Staying with the Kyra Pros really quick, these things can do that. I know that's a thing for most people when you have these on your neck and you wanna rest, you don't wanna have them this way, you wanna have them that way. And these things are super loose. I feel like they kinda don't lock. They will kinda just spin any which way the headset is standing. So I don't know if that's a good thing where the Xbox doesn't do it at all. They don't do that. So I would say out the box, I guess if you like this sort of thing, the Kyra's are good and it will make you not want to wear the Xbox headset. But also these things are super loose. I feel like they kind of just go whichever way you turn them. Don't know if it's a locking feature or anything. I don't think it has a locking feature. It just, but they do feel nice and smooth. I will tell you that. But overall, one has it, which is not very good because they kind of all over the place and one doesn't have it. So if that's a thing for you, then you already got the answer that you needed. As far as flexibility, the Microsoft Xbox, I mean, that's all it does. That's about as much as this is gonna flex. Whereas the Kairos flex pretty much, I mean, a, a real, a whole lot here. So these are really nice. Uh, these are gonna fit your head really good. When you start to look at overall build quality, the razors are mostly plastic. It's a hard plastic, but it feels good. It doesn't feel cheap. Got that nice razor branding up there, all black and green, matching the Xbox. This thing here actually lights up. I'm gonna show you that really quickly. You can write, light this up red, green, purple, blue, orange, whatever. Okay, so this thing does light up. You got green, 
you got blue, you got orange, you got purple, you got red, all different colors. You can keep it to green. You can make it switch colors. You can turn it on. You can turn it off. That's a really nice uh, detail that I do like. But overall build quality, these things are very comfortable. I will tell you, this is a nice material. Really nice and plush. Not as deep as the Xbox. We'll get into it in a minute. But I feel your ears will be fairly comfortable if you have any kind of concerns that you would not be comfortable wearing these. These are amazing to wear. These are some of my favorite headsets to wear when I'm playing a game. Mic support, we'll get into it in a second, but let's talk about the Xbox and their build quality. So build quality, this is a hard plastic, but it has more of a smooth, slippery feel than the Razer does. The Razer's got a little bit of texture, whereas these are more clean. You got Microsoft branding right there on the side. Nice clickiness. Let's look at the clickiness on this one. I feel like, I feel like these are just a little, they feel good, but I feel like they might snap one day. Whereas these, I feel like they're not gonna snap. I don't know. That might be personal preference, but they're a little thicker. You see how thick that is compared, compared to those? Just thickness is just different, man. And I feel like these are built a little bit better there in that department. Ear cushions, these are the most uh, comfortable ear cushions I've worn on a headset for an Xbox. Nice plush, really feels good. Nice amount of thickness there too, just really plush. That's the right ear, that's the left ear. So I would say, in my opinion, these are just better to wear. They just feel great. Not saying that these don't feel great. They feel really good, but these just get a just another extra level of just comfort in my opinion. Now let's get into the mics real quick. There's a big difference in mics here on both of these headsets. One, the Microsoft headset is just this. It's connected, it can't be taken off, and it bends a little bit. I mean, when you actually store it, you can store it that way, but it doesn't stay all the way up. Sound, really good. When you're talking to your friends and you stop talking, they're not going to hear anything else in your background. What people have told me about this mic though, I'll tell you real quick, it comes off. It does come off. So when you're going on the road and you want to pack this all up, you don't have to worry about it. But it does come off and it bends. And it bends a lot. So the Xbox, you can't really get it in front of your face as much as you can get this in your face. When I talk on this one, people tell me I sound really clear on the razor and i think it's because i can put this thing right in front of my mouth whereas this one's kind of on the side mostly i have it this way sometimes you could bend it but most people have told me that the razor mic sounds better and i think it's because i'm able to position that mic right in front of my mouth so both have nice black and green color schemes i think overall when looking at these the razors are nice but the xbox with the leather it just, it just wins for me in that department as far as looks. Build quality, I think the Microsoft headset is just a, just a tad bit ahead of the Razors. Now when you look at ear cups, let's look at the Razors really quickly. You have a couple of things. You've got a USB Type-C charging port. You've got a power button. You've got an up and down for a volume. And then you have a mute button, which is a slide button up and down there you go up down and then on the other side you have a chat mix button you've got a bluetooth connectivity button and you have a sync button on the xbox you've got a mute button underneath the mic you've got a power on off and then this is really cool this is the volume right here this whole thing is the volume it turns and on the other side this is the chat mix and then on the other side, the only thing else you have there is a Microsoft USB, um, not a Microsoft USB, a USB Type-C port. So both of these have USB Type-C, great. Both of these are great in the battery department. You're gonna get 15 to 20 hours. There's a difference with the razors, whether you have this RGB lighting on or off, and I'll put it right here for you so you can see the difference. So app support. Both are really good as far as being able to customize the sound that you want from these headsets. How these things sound. Everybody's gonna like sound a little bit different than the next person, but 
Both of these have app support. They have great app support, EQ support, where you're able to go in, adjust your mids, adjust your highs, adjust your lows, adjust your bass, adjust your treble. They have custom sets, they have presets. The only difference I would say between these two, the Razors, you download an app on your PC and you go from there. The Microsoft is fully integrated inside of the Xbox. When you turn these things on, you go into your settings in your Microsoft, nothing extra, and you just start playing around in the accessories app for your Microsoft headset. Also can update it there as well wirelessly. So I would give the advantage with the app support to the Microsoft headset because of the integration within their system. Price, when we talk about price, the Microsoft Xbox headset is $99.99. For a first party headset, that is outrageous for them to have such a quality, high end, great spec looking headset for such a cheap price. I'm not sure if they make money on this headset or not, but for $100, you cannot go wrong. I don't care what headset you put in front of me. For $99.99, first party headset, Microsoft, nailed this one. On the other hand, the Razer Kai Pros are a little bit more expensive at $150. So if price point is your only concern, the Xbox headset is a great value. I don't think for another $50, the Razers do anything head and shoulders above what the Microsoft Xbox headset does. So if price is the only option, I'm gonna say go with the Microsoft Xbox headset. But if price is not a difference, I'm gonna say still go with the Microsoft Xbox headset because of the fact that we could look at all the different things. We could look at does the headset twist and turn and have flexibility? Does the headset have nice plush materials? Is it a really good quality? Does it stretch good? Does it twist good? How's the app support? How's the functionality? Where are the buttons? We can look at all that stuff and the one thing I will tell you that's gonna make your life just more pleasurable when using both of these headsets is one Microsoft right out of the box when you purchase these is going to give you three months of Dolby Atmos for free to try it out which is going to put your sound next level make sure you have a compatible TV so you can enjoy the sound and experience the difference the other thing is the app support is integrated inside of the Xbox. So if you don't have a PC, if you don't want to connect to your laptop, you never need to leave your Xbox and that gives the Microsoft headset a huge advantage. From a sound portion profile, it's personal preference, man. These both sound great. They both have EQ, so you can manipulate all of the sound settings to your liking. So in my opinion, I'm gonna go with the Microsoft Xbox headsets in this showdown. But, if you decided to go with the Razer Car Pros, maybe you like the fancy lights, maybe you like the removable microphone, you're not going to have any regrets with the Razer Car Pros. Shout out to everybody rocking me on Instagram, YouTube, the Anchor app. You can also find me on Spotify, so it's Apple and Google Podcasts. It's your boy, Pat. Peace. Catch you on the next one.